What up guys, gals, and non-associated wolf pals? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the wolf pack. That's right, my name is Anthony, and we are jumping back in Hogwarts Legacy. We are in the winter time in this game, which is actually really cool. It looks like it's the, I guess the holiday or the spirit season or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, we're going to continue on. We have a few places to go few people to see so let's stop dilly dally and let's get into it remember if you enjoy the content please leave a like comment down below also subscribe hit my wolf gong to get notified for more zh gamer content all right here we go i can do this i can do this they will want to help is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of uh -oh. a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Oh, fun. <laughs> they probably, maybe they'll understand. Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope I'm you're hoping. right. Perhaps yeah, me, they'll me be too. able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. <laughs> I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's yeah. exactly the right word. I just never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've we've no secrets to hide. Speaking of secrets, I do want to tell you why Victor Rookwood's after me. He's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock's after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig's asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps explain a bit about what we saw back at Hauntel Hall. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Even well, the centaurs good. won't know. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. That's a fact. They'll have be to honest. help us, won't they? Yes, of course. Well, You're absolutely right. To, but we'll we meet with them, them, tell them about the snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Oh. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, put, put your wand away, dude. Put what your... do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We uh -oh. do not harm the young. It is not our way. You oh. forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. And I have to, man. Come on. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Oh, come on. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Slidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Slidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? That's what we're here for. In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. All right. Well, that helps. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal 
doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Uh, I trust him. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is <laughs> yeah. a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader Doran. of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. That's a fact. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. All right, you do that. I'll let you know what I find. All right, that sounds good. All right, so we need that's that's good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna head back. We're gonna get up out of here. This apparently is not a place to breathe. Oh, here we go. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must down. gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, oh, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Very well. I'll speak mm. with them, see what yeah. I can learn. I yeah. knew I could rely on you. We need to know mm. how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me, me here after you have spoken with them. That's what I'll do. Let's go in here Hopefully and Hopefully by the time them. you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. All right, let's go speak with these guys. Maybe right oh, here. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What oh, do you darling. mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Oh, Harlow wow. approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. Mm. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. Oh, the note no. stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But oh, the help God. Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Man. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Don't worry. We got this. Okay. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Yes, Thank it is. You. I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Uh, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Mm. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Yes. Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was mm. kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. Oh, what was in the note? Go. It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months Aww. we haven't told mr hill yet i dare say he has higher hopes for her harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with rosie not to mention my employment here depended upon my cooperation oh, what wow. did he ask you to do it all happened so quickly 
In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, mm. but I can't keep it out for much longer. I know, I'm right? terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. We're going to try to take him letter, down. Should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. All right, good deal. We got that. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Yep, yep, we're going, man. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. We need one more. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. There he is right there. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Oh, man. Oh, let's see here. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You mm -hmm. said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. Aww. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. Oh, he found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, oh, lying God. there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. Mm -mm. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. That's what we're gonna do. Boom. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Let's go ahead and... to find Natty. Go ahead and speak with Nanny. We're like investigators here. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was uh -oh. going to the Hog's Head. Let's Perhaps the I'll hog's find head. her there. She's probably been captured. Can't have that happen for sure. He must be around here somewhere. <gasps> oh no. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. Yep. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Uh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Uh, I, oh. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> what? Rebellion. Going back around here. Natty must oh. have been taken this way. Here we go. I need to find her quickly. Her footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. There to be another way forward. Let's see here. Accio. Let's forward as well. A hidden door. How about that? Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. 
Yes, we definitely need to find her. Oh, yeah. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Ravenia. Now we're going to be sneaking around a lot. Oh, wow. Using that girl as bait, that one's coming for her. We ought to just kill her. Only a whole student would be arrogant enough to come in here alone. I guess I'm arrogant then. <laughs> Rookwood will reward us for our loyalty, oh, don't you fret? It's exhausting. The track is no talus. Gotcha. Troll. Who's there? I've had enough of spell troll. All right. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, come on now. Gotcha. Just don't tell us. That's a scout right there. Oh, nice. I don't want to work with goblins. Not now, not ever. Revelio. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the hog pen. Or perhaps I'll just go now. Concentrate. Can't let anyone get past me this time. Uh huh. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. Sweet. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Ravenia. How did I get mixed up in this? Doing Rookwood work for him. I don't trust Ranrock, I'll tell you that. You'll tell on us first chance he gets. Hey. Let's finish this job and be done with it. Waste of time, this is. Go up the stairs here. We should speak to her again. Perhaps she'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Ah, she's determined to say nothing. The boss will deal with her when he arrives. All flavor of wicked to be at with the dark arts. Somewhere. You found us. I knew you would be left my one for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what Rebellion. you oh, Hello, yeah. Gamora. Oh, what is there? To you first mr rape daisy told me you've been abducted you spoke with my wife how is she worried about you mm -hmm. are you all right i am all right thank you for coming these locks are cursed and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells even natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us oh wow i need you to find my wand mr rape i found your wand yeah well done <laughs> i knew it was nearby now you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Yeah. Revelio. Got some more money over here. Oh. 
All right, come save her. We got this, guys. Boom. All right. Whoop. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. I and know. thank you, my friend. You're welcome. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. Mm -hmm. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. That's right. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Mm-hmm. So I guess we're just gonna head on out here and fight. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, this way. Oh, here we go. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Oh, there she is right there. Nuts I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. We are safe. <laughs> Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is what? Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. <laughs> Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, mm -hmm. to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, mm. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Well, you aren't doing a very good job. <laughs> With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Natsai, but... you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. Oh, you're welcome. We shall speak soon. That's, we shall. Boom. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We got a lot done, a lot accomplished. We got more stuff to do. Remember, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment down below. And hey, don't be a toe jelly. Subscribe to be my friend. And until then, I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>